Hey folks, Twitch to Christian, Julius here. I want to give you guys some breaking prophetic news. And I think this is important where we are at in this prophetic timeline with everything that's going on. And I think more revelation is just coming out, at least from what I'm seeing. And one of the things that I have come to realization right now, and I'm surprised that you know I didn't see this before, but Kamala Harris has been chosen by God to fulfill the role to where she is at right now and where she is going to be. And I think also, too, there is a connection to the two presidents uh, in Kim Clement prophecies and also another prophecy that I'm going to show you about Esther. And is this woman that Kim Clement is talking about Kamala Harris? And I think after you guys finish watching this video, you're going to change your whole perspective on everything. And it just has happened for me today. And this is going to show exactly where we are, first of all, in the prophetic timeline, but also who we're supposed to be praying for. And if you believe in the prophets, Kim Clement, Prophet Charlie... This is going to change this whole thing. I'm getting ready to show you is going to change your whole perspective because, you know, Prophet Charlie talked about the Supreme Court getting involved. And then once I read this and you listen to Kim Clement, these pieces to the puzzle are being put together. But first of all, I'm going to read this prophetic word by Prophet Charlie, and it's about Kamala Harris. A star will rise. I was praying and suddenly I found myself in the spirit looking for what was to come. In my eyes I could see the state of California and a rising star. I heard the Lord say, Behold, the woman that will rise from the west. I looked to see a light-skinned black woman standing before me with authority, poised to take political power. It was Kamala Harris. She will rise from California as a bright star in the coming days, the Lord said unto me. She has been handpicked by some in power as a queen to Trump, President Trump in 2020. This is their hidden vision that has yet to unfold. They will use her to grab the hearts of the people in the nation and attempt to create momentum and build a political bridge from the east to the west. They will set her on a course to make major waves in the country for a time. Her eyes will be open and her heart will be changed when she sees that they have played her as a pawn in a political game only to put forth a rook in an attempt to upset a king. In the end, this plan will fail. She will be broken as a result of this reality, though I will show her in my mercy and teach her true justice. Her political future will be hung in the balance, and I will present her with a choice to choose a difficult road, one that will build bridges across enemy lines and forge friendships from common political rivals. She is my bridge builder. I will use her to build new political alliances that help those in need and in the nation. Where she was once hated by some, she will now be seen as a trusted ally and praised as she brings justice to the poor of the country. My destiny for her life is that she fulfill the promise that she made to her mother when she was young if I choose, I will lead her down this difficult path to seal the legacy of her father and mother. In the end, she will be remembered for the advancements of civil rights and economic justice among Americans. Prophet Charlie Champ. September 26, 2017. So this, after everything that's taken place, my whole perspective on this and what God is doing, and I, we can't question what God is doing but she is chosen by God and she fits into everything else concerning the prophecies of the former president Trump and she and one of the things here is that in this prophetic word they try to use her and then they turn around and she's has to, she's will be faced with a difficult decision to make that she's going to build bridges to her political rivals maybe at this time that when we deal with the two presidents maybe something happens with biden and somehow she becomes president but i think we might see from reading from this it's very possible 
that if there's any reverse decision in the Supreme Court, because remember, Prophet Charlie did say that, this, that the Supreme Court would get involved and would start with Pennsylvania. If somehow, some way, the Supreme Court gets involved and reverses everything, that's where we would see the two presidents. I'm going to play this prophetic word by Kim Clement. Okay, it was March 25th, 2011. There is a president who will come. And God says he will have absolutely no fear. Absolutely no fear. He will be decisive, make decisions. And then in the middle of the restoration of America, rapidly because of a source of energy that shall come quickly and because of medical breakthroughs and because of agreements between nations specifically China God said they shall say we never dreamed this would happen they said that this in Japan would never happen but God says listen to me as the beginning of the restoration as it begins there shall be a woman that shall rise up a woman that shall be strong in faith, virtuous, beautiful in eyes, and her eyes shall be so beautiful. Her eyes shall be round and big. I have crowned her, says the Lord, as I crowned Esther. And the people shall receive her, for she shall have the oil of gladness. For the pain in the morning that is taking place and she shall pour out the oil she shall pour out the oil on this nation and God says healing shall begin and then it shall flow rapidly schools will be free from potential damage and danger shootings and murder drug addiction cartels shall be afraid of a woman a woman anointed by God a woman set aside and God says they will say we hated her but now we love her for she shall take the oil of healing and she shall pour it upon the scars of those left and those right and of the new party that has come forth and emerged where they shall say Christ will reign and we shall not implement at all socialism. I mean, they have said we will make history without God. No, you will not. No, you will not, says the Lord. But I chose this nation before it was founded. Before anybody came here, I chose this entire nation, all 50 states, every one of them, to send my gospel to the entire earth. Do you think I have changed my mind? Therefore, the healing that is necessary for this nation shall come at a time in the middle of the presidency. There shall be a woman that shall come. And God said there shall be oil that shall be poured upon the nation. And they shall suddenly feel the healing. And they shall say, it is well with my soul. It is well with our soul. For the soul of America has been corrupted. The soul of this nation has been corrupted with bitterness and anger. And God said she shall say, no more bitterness. No more anger. No more death vision and shall pour the oil that shall come from the spirit of the Lord himself if you as a nation believe it if you want this lift your voice and shout one more time and say yes yes to Esther yes to Esther alright folks you just heard what Kim Clement had to say and I was just astonished because you know some people said that this was Amy Barrett the Supreme Court justice in actuality I don't really I, I couldn't really see that only because you know because of her position and power I want to go to the prophetic word and of course I believe in the in the beginning of the prophecy when he's talking about there there's a president that will come he will have absolutely no fear he will be decisive he will make decisions and he says and in the middle of the restoration of America rapidly because of a source of energy that will come quickly and because of medical breakthroughs and because of agreements between nations specifically China 
and they will say, we never dreamed this would happen. As the beginning of the restoration, as it begins, there shall be a woman that shall rise up, a woman that shall be strong in faith. And he goes on to say, I have crowned her as I have crowned Esther. So first he brings up who I believe that would be uh, President Trump. As you know, he kept saying about pouring out the oil, pouring out the healing. And, when, and one of the most important things that when I heard him say this, it says, and God says, they will say, we hated her, but now we love her. Because of who she is, she was Biden's running mate. We didn't like her. So there's going to be a change where people are going to start liking this woman. We hated her. That couldn't have been Amy Barrett. Also, out of that, a new party will emerge. And one of the other things that they talk about is this new source of energy. And in the middle of this restoration of America, rapidly, because of a source of energy that will come quickly, and medical breakthroughs. So we are looking for that. We are looking for the sources of energy, the X and the P. So that whole entire industry, whatever this new source of energy is, it's going to come rapidly. And he says here, she shall have the oil of gladness for the pain and the mourning that has taken place. And she shall pour out the oil. And you see what's happening with our country. And I believe that a lot of these other prophecies, the Kim Clement prophecies about uh, the politicians being embarrassed. She could be that one that would be pouring the oil. For she shall take the oil of healing and pour it on the scars of those left and those right and of the new party. So he's talking about pouring the healing out on both parties and the new party that has come forth. And that they would not implement socialism. So there's a lot of prophetic nuggets in this with Kim Clement to start with. But, mo but mainly I am focused on Kamala Harris. Folks, this whole thing with uh, reading what... Prophet Charlie spoke about and then connecting this Kim Clement prophecy. And I think this is where we are at. And, you know, a lot of people may not like to hear what I'm saying. And but I have to say what the Holy Spirit is saying to me. People, people can change and people do change. And according to these prophetic words, her eyes are going to be opened. So that's why if, if she is part of God's plan in all this with the two presidents, and Kim Clement even talked about a woman president. Now, I want to go to October 24, 2012 by Kim Clement. Because this is important where we are right now in this prophetic timeline. And believing now that Kamala Harris is anointed by God. And we should be praying for this woman because things are going to happen. And this is how God has designed it. With the present attack against the woman... And the young woman, as you showed us on the weekend, with all, these, with all these attacks against them, there must be something God is preparing. I personally think it's a woman president, but I've already prophesied about it, which, which we know is inevitable. It's going to be, and I felt, I felt all along it was going to be a black president woman. I may be wrong about that, but I'm just saying, usually when there's a concentrated attack on a woman as vicious as this, and you see it happening... You see it happening in our own country, and then you see it happening in Pakistan. It's just violence from all sides. God is up to something, and it's something y'all need to pray about, obviously for this election, but for this future, and we will go on and on with righteousness in Washington. So a lot of people do discuss if something like if Biden was to pass away, she would become the, and she would be become the first black president. I mean, folks, this is um blown away by all of this so there is other prophetic words by Kim Clement concerning this I'll put a couple links down below but you can go to the house of destiny dot uh, org slash prophecy or you could just go there and go to the prophecy section in the about us section but this is where that information is at and the link to Buffett Charlie's prophetic words will be here I will put a link down below in the description with Prophet Charlie's prophecy here, uh, this also sheds light on everything that's going to happen. And folks, 
however we're going to have two presidents, however we're going to have the first uh, female black president, however all this happens, it's, it's in God's plan. And it's very interesting because we're at this point and it's, we just never saw all of this coming, prophetically speaking. And I said in my last video that in order to have two presidents, then Biden and Harris would have to be inaugurated. And it did. And of course, it did happen. They didn't happen in the way the things that many of us thought they would. But now this this changes our perspective. And the other thing I do want to bring up is I don't know how long this administration is going to go on for. Right. Because a lot of people talked about the president still having four years. Is he going to be reelected? Uh, is it going to President Trump going to run again in 2024? But according to Prophet Charlie, the Supreme Court will make a decision. And then that's where we could see the removal. I will say this. If something was to happen with the Supreme Court and then somehow Biden being removed and Kamala Harris being sworn in as president and then and then somehow some way the supreme court gets involved with concerning the election all right so this could be very strange what did kim clement say about the two presidencies let me play that really quick in april 4th 2008 in seattle washington and they shall say but now there is a second president how can we have two presidents an unusual thing, isn't it, said the Spirit of the Lord. Why would it be that one with a double mind would stand up and face the people? No, they shall say, we have two presidents. What do we do now? Fear not, for God said, as I promised before, this is my nation, and I will change things according to the time and season. And I told you now, I will expose and reveal things that have been hidden so that my nation can move into this next election and to the next phase with victory and honor and glory, says the Lord of hosts. I prophesy America. I prophesy America. You are a light, salt, joy. You are a light, salt, joy. I declare this upon this nation. Great, great prosperity again. Oil prices that shall change rapidly. And when the new source of energy suddenly unfolds, people will say, oh God, how, how, how did we miss it? It was so easy. At the right time, and the time is now, says the Spirit of God. So Folks, that prophecy is connected to this other prophecy that we listened to at the beginning. And he's talking about the president, the one that has no fear. He's talking about uh, Trump. And then he turns around and says that things are going to start taking off, a new source of energy. That particular prophecy dealing with the two presidents... Folks, I told you we are living in the one of the most greatest prophetic times in modern history. And I am absolutely blown away. So I just wanted to say this uh, because I'm going to do a follow up video to this. And like I said, a lot of people may not like it, but we have to support Kamala Harris and we have to pray for her because she's going to be instrumental in the beginning of everything that is supposed to unfold. Is she the one that Kim Clement has been prophesying about? The first African-American president somehow, some way, and then along with two presidents? She's supposed to be pouring oil out on this nation, and somehow, and I'm thinking that both her and however this happens with Trump, there's going to be a connection. And God is doing that. And because both sides are hurt, you need one from one and one from the other. People change. And if she's been destined... According to these two prophets, and you believe in what they say, that is where we're at. So, folks, I just wanted to put all this out there, and it's for you guys to digest. And so just tell me what you think. Uh, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to share. So, folks, thanks for listening. God bless. And with that being said, Twisted Christian out.